All right. Yep. We're here. Playoffs is crazy. And we're going to recap the Mavericks and the Clippers series, which was a pretty entertaining series. Um, a lot of people were disappointed on how it kind of looked out in the end, but, you know, it kind of worked out what it was supposed to do. We thought Doncic was going to have a great series, but the Mavericks weren't going to win. And that's what happened. So, Porzingis, if he didn't get ejected in game one, and if he didn't get injured, the series definitely would have looked different. I don't know if that means the Mavericks would have finally beaten the Clippers if Porzingis was fully healthy. But, you know, maybe they win one more game. Maybe they force a game seven. You know? Um, but those things did happen, and the Clippers handled business and won it in six games. Porzingis did get injured because I don't want to jinx anything, but it seems like he's injury prone. It's not great. So, which means that my prediction was correct. What? And that is always a good feeling. Oh, so there you go. Paul George had a very rough start to this series. He wasn't scoring at all. He was shooting at a terrible percentage. It looked gross. But, you know, we kept watching and saying, if Paul George came back to what he usually does, the Clippers are going to dominate. And that's what happened. Clippers handled business when Paul George started to play better. But the real star of the series was definitely one of the best NBA playoff players in the league, Kawhi Leonard. This guy, I say that he's one of the best playoff players because he'll probably never win a, a regular season MVP because he doesn't play enough games. But when it gets to the playoffs, he shows why everyone has him in the top three in the NBA. He's crazy. It's he's crazy. He's a Hall of Famer. He's it's gonna go down in history as one of the best playoff players of all time. He he's done it on two different teams, won a title, won Finals MVP, and in this series he averaged thirty three points, ten rebounds, five assists, and two and a half steals. Yeah, you heard me right which means he was leading the Clippers in every major stat category except blocks. Kawhi, small forward. He's, that means he was getting more assists than like Pat Bev or Reggie Jackson. He was getting more rebounds than Montrez Harold or Zubax. Zubax. And it, it was just crazy to see. And I can't wait to see what they do in the next series, which I will be previewing tomorrow. I'm gonna post a Nuggets Jazz recap right after this, like maybe a couple hours after this. So watch out for that, because that series was fantastic. I hope you guys saw that, because that was great. Um, so that's gonna be it for this video. It was kind of underwhelming after Porzingis got injured and Luka made the game winner. But, you know, if Luka doesn't make that shot, they would have won in five. It's, it's, that, it's that simple. The Mavs only had one real win in the series, because if you want to count that, you, you of course, you do count it. They did win, he did make the shot, but that was not a good shot. I mean, I mean, they didn't need a three. Luka is not a great three, good three-point shooter, but the shot went in, and they did win two games. So, good job, Mavericks. I don't know what moves you're going to need to make to make this a title contender, but, you know, you're going to have to do something, because Porzingis and Luka probably won't stay together for the net in five years. They're probably going to both... You're, you're probably going to get Luka for four more years after his rookie contract, but if you can't keep Porzingis and you can't build something around him, then you're not going to win a title. 
and you, we kind of saw that with the Sixers, you know? They made a lot of moves, but they never quite made got the title. And now their whole rebuilding is going to have to start over. They did their Jimmy Butler, J.J. Redick, Al Horford, Tobias Harris moves, but it didn't work out. And sometimes it happens. Sometimes it happens that it doesn't work out, and you just have to restart. It's the cycle of basketball. Now, the Kings have rebuilt like twice now, and we never even made it to the playoffs. So, <laughs> it happens. And it's a bummer that it has to happen, but it happened. So that's going to be it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Spread the word. I'll see you guys next time.